hello guys and welcome back to my channel so tonight i'm gonna do a quick video on how i created this design um in silhouette studio this is um considered the knockout method and i used a picture as a pattern to create this inside look right here okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to import a picture into silhouette studio to use as a pattern so to do that you will go to file you will go down to library and import to library. And then uh, from here, you will go to wherever you have your images saved and you will import whatever picture you want to import. So I'm going to import that picture. That's a picture of my daughter who graduated last year. So the picture is now in my Silhouette Studio library right there. So I'm going to scroll down to patterns. Well, I have patterns right here. So I'm going to drag this image down to my pattern folder. Okay. Then I'm going to go here to design. So I already have, um, this is the image that I will, that I'm going to use. Okay. Let me move those out of the way. This is the image that I'm going to use, or this is the file that I'm going to use rather. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and ungroup. So I ungrouped and now it looks like this. So then I'm going to grab these two together, the white 2020 and then the black uh, 2020. I'm going to go here to object where it says go down to modify and I'm going to subtract all. So that is how you create the knockout method. So now it looks like this. That's considered the knockout method. Okay. So to add my picture, to add my photo right here, I'm going to click on the white 2020 because that's why I want my picture. I'm going to go over here to my color palette and I'm going to go right here to fill pattern. And then I'm going to scroll down to where my picture is. And then I'm just going to click on the picture that I want to put in there. And there it is. Just that simple. So. And then, of course, you can just, um, I mean, if you want to use this as a, uh, if you're doing sublimation or anything like that, you can print it just like this. But, of course, if you are using, like, heat transfer paper, you have to print this part separate. Of course, you will, um, well, I mean, you don't really have to. You can print it all together. But I normally print this in gold or whatever the school color is. So my daughter, she goes to over here, so their color is blue. So I might do that in blue or gold. I'm not sure. But anyway, or you can you can print this and you can cut this in vinyl and print this on heat transfer paper or you can do it all on heat transfer paper. Just whatever you prefer. OK, so that's that one. So for the um, for this one, if you want to add more than one picture, it's um sort of like the same concept. So you're going to ungroup, of course. Right. So you ungroup, then you're going to take your 2020 and you're going to create it as the knockout method again. So you're going to go here to object, modify, subtract all. OK, and then uh, it's going to look like that. OK, so then what you're going to do, you're going to ungroup the white 2020. So you just ungroup that. So now they're all separate pieces. OK, so everything is separate. And then you just do the same thing. Whatever picture you want right here in the two, you will go right here to your field pattern and you will scroll down until you find the picture that you want. And then you just insert it like that. And then you do the same thing for your other pictures. So if you notice, um, like you can't see the faces. So what do you, what you need to do to prevent that? Um, it might take a little playing around with it because I have that issue of one. So you're going to edit your photos or crop your photos, shall I say. You're going to crop them before you import them. And then, um, like I said, you're probably going to have to play around with it um, just to get it to where you want it so you can still see the faces. So that's how you do that. And basically, that's it. So like I said, with the other one, you can either print, you can... Um, print this all and um, on heat transfer paper you can do the whole thing with sublimation 
or you could just do these the um the, the photos and heat transfer paper and then you can do the rest in vinyl however you want to do it but that is how you do the knockout method so thank you all for taking the time out to watch my video um now that i learned how to do a screen recording i will be doing more tutorials in silhouette studio all right you guys thank you for watching have a great night till next time